real. Not real. I can't tell anymore. <laughs> Okay. I and they're teaching me how to deal with ghosts, apparently. Bring it, bitch. It's gone. Was it the axe? Heck yeah, it's been awesomed. Is this another one of those? Ah. I noticed they're like near um Oh Jesus freaking Christ. So I point and click and then that Do I have to kill you? Or are you going to give me something cool? Ooh. <gasps> Karika, a ritual flaying knife with the cur with the curve and Hook blade symbolizes cutting through obstacles. It combines the flaying implements of a cutting knife and sharp blade with the piercing quality of a dagger or pulling hook. I guess I made... I guess I have more awesome acts now. Icky dicky. Cool. I like this third eye thing. Foreign devils disturb Chumalonzo, the worker says every th everyone must leave right away. Let's see what it says. Karika. Info. Huh. That's just the ice axe. That's the Korea. Okay. What's new? I guess that's it. We must abandon our jobs and get away as soon as we can. Something dark is coming down from Tromalonzo. These westerners with their expedition, they must have uh, angered the goddess, disturbed her eternal peaceful dancing place. Dancing place. I'm hoping that's a correct translation. <laughs> she has cursed the, the valley and sent dark spirits to plague the streets of Lando. They seem to seem so restless, so hungry. We have to leave, as long as this is no longer a place for living. Interesting. Okay, so we go back.
way he uses the third eye, he's like, Whoa! There's something down there, I know that. He climbs steps like it's like a really big thing. Something glowy. Written by Frank. And it says there's some prophecy that I'm going to discover a treasure on Kamalon. That I'm going to discover a treasure on Chamalonzo. But up there, um, put up there centuries ago by some monks. I've seen his work on the location, I and agreed there's something up there. But, of course, the whole prophecy business is insane. Still, if that's a, what makes him cough up the money for the climb, I'll be happy to play with his, um, play his golden boy. Hmm. There was a look. But I... Now I can't find it. I was like more. Oh. Let's try that again. An old Funka? Its colors are a bit faded, but it's still priceless. Hmm. Hmm. I guess that's what I was looking at. The green Tara. Whoops. <laughs> Just looks like a little pixelated blur to me, but anyway. Shh. 
beautifully carved Buddha in meditation pose. He seems calm, but somehow he makes me nervous. Eh, it's because you, you are a bad, bad man. Going around breaking people's priceless artifacts. I'm not used to hitting B as the attack. It's weird. He has a hard time going upstairs. He, it's like he's climbing a freaking mountain when he's. Bunch of junk, old and useless. Bunch of junk, old and useless. Some picture of some dude. Picture of shrunken head on as well. Um. Okay. Obviously a mad person. Picture of one of Bennett's relatives. It's through this door first. It opens. It's been sealed by some strange power. Hold on. Hmm. Oh well. My. Acts of Doom doesn't do anything, so... I guess I won't worry about it. Just yet. Sealed by a powerful force! Supplies for some future expedition. This house is big. Chumalonzo is his hidden treasure. A treasure with unbelievable powers is hidden in Chumalonzo. I don't understand why I have to go... I have studied old scriptures, read hundreds of ancient books, tracked down thousands of obscure hints, talked for hours with Lama Thodpa ba yeah, those guys. <laughs> At last my long search has borne fruit. There is a terma hidden high in the south face of Chamalonzo. The prophecy says it is more powerful than any that has been found before. They say it will give eternal life to the one who knows how to use it. Ah, the possibilities. I see. So, um, my impressions of Bennett is that he's bent on world dominations. Some magazines. World dominations? World domination... Oh, da 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 da.